Coming up on Mountain News this morning, churches and organizations in Pike County join together on Thanksgiving with one mission, filling a need. And for six years, volunteers have gathered at Perry Central on Thanksgiving morning to put together food boxes for those in need. Plus, in Frankfurt, folks started their Thanksgiving off on a healthy note by taking part in the 24th annual Thanksgiving Walk of Awareness. Dedicated to Eastern and Southern Kentucky, this is WYMT Mountain News This Morning. Good morning. The time is 4.59 on November 29th. I'm Madison Pergram, and thank you for joining us on Mountain News this morning. So if you're just waking up, it's Black Friday. Those shoppers might be out and watching now, but let's go to Brandon Robinson. Brandon, are you in that food come up from Thanksgiving yesterday? No, I'm actually not too bad this morning, but listen, I got my Christmas towel and I got my Christmas socks. You're it's after out. Thanksgiving. There's no excuses anymore. I don't want to hear, oh, it's too early for Christmas. No, it's not. <laughs> Christmas is coming. So let's get into it this morning with the forecast, and you'll see had a few clouds overnight starting to develop here kind of a similar situation to yesterday a little moisture too that didn't reach the ground had a little bit of uh, active uh, radar there for a little bit last night don't think any of that kind of got to the ground level though you'll see temperatures in the 30s and upper four upper 30s mid to upper 30s there we go get my words out this morning and we'll see 40 down in Middlesbrough we're going to see a familiar face in Middlesbrough here in just a little bit but again some warmer temperatures down to our south a little extra on the coffee meter because you're up early you're out shopping you're going to need it today and temperatures a little bit chilly out the door forecast clouds and sun, more clouds in the sun, kind of a similar situation to yesterday until we maybe get late in the day and temperatures top out in the upper 40s. I'll have the rest of the forecast coming up here in just a little bit. Madison. Thank you, Brandon. Well, while many were at home enjoying their Thanksgiving meals, others were hitting the stores for pre Black Friday deals last night. Now stores are preparing for waves of Black Friday shoppers and many say turnout at these sales can be a game changer. WYMT's Will Puckett joins us live in Middlesbrough with more on what today's numbers will mean for businesses. Will, good morning. Madison, good morning. Black Friday shopping in the Christmas season is finally here. And while it's all quiet right now, in about two hours, the Middlesboro Mall will open to those Black Friday shoppers. Now, Black Friday is critical to many stores. It makes up a significant portion of their business and how they make their money. For J.C. Penny here at the Middlesboro Mall, they hope customers come out in droves today because it can make or break their year. Um, it is very important. It's very important. Um, it's the biggest day that we have of the year and um, we all work all year getting prepared for this great start to the holiday season. So we love it. It's crazy to think that just one single day Madison can make or break in a store's entire year, but that's what Black Friday is all about. While families get to wake up early and wait in lines for stores, it's all about making their money so they can survive throughout the year. We'll have much more coverage from here in Middlesboro as people start arriving for those Black Friday deals. Madison, I'll send it back to you. Thank you, Will. Well, churches and organizations in Pike County join together on Thanksgiving with one mission, filling a need. More than 20 churches join together to serve around 7,000 meals this Thanksgiving. Organizers say the growing event is not only about the food or the fellowship. It is about the mission that brings all of the different churches together as one. It's to show the love of Christ, to show that the love of God is in us and we want to help those in need. And they are already planning to do it all again. Their goal for next year, 10,000 meals to help with next year's event or to stay up to date on the One Church mission, visit the One Church of Eastern Kentucky Facebook page. And for six years, volunteers have gathered at Perry Central on Thanksgiving morning to put together food boxes for those in need. This year, they are delivered about 1,000 boxes. Students and staff from every school in Perry County volunteer. All the students were put to different tasks to make the packaging process run smoothly. We will take a more in-depth look at the process at 530 right here on Mountain News this morning. And in Frankfurt, folks started their Thanksgiving off on a healthy note by taking part in the 24th annual Thanksgiving Walk of Awareness. On the brisk Thanksgiving morning, hundreds of people gathered in Frankfurt at the First United Methodist Church. They were not just raising their heart rates, they were working to raise money for a local soup kitchen and men's shelter. They're out here at almost freezing temperatures doing a mile and a half walk for people they don't even know. They care. In today's society, too often, people don't care about each other. It's our major fundraiser for the year for the soup kitchen and men's shelter, and it, it's, it's, it just seems appropriate that we do it on Thanksgiving morning when all of us should be giving thanks for the blessings that we have. 
Now next year they will be celebrating their 25th anniversary of the Thanksgiving Walk of Awareness. They hope next year is bigger and more impactful than ever to change people's lives for years to come. And before the turkey and all the trimmings yesterday, some people took part in the turkey trot in Louisville. It was the 49th year for the race, and Wave 3 Shannon Kogan has the details. <laughs> Lots of turkeys taking part in this turkey trot. Our reporter, Sarah Ravest, blew the horn to get the race started. About 2,400 people and a few dogs will do the 5K or 10K. There's also a kid's trot that included a big VIP. I'm here to check on all the good kids and girls and boys and hopefully finish. The turkey trot is a tradition for some families, even what they do after the race. We go to Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> Many runners are wearing eye-catching attire. So then I said, you want to get dressed up? And of course it was, let's do some tutus. She wouldn't wear this cute little thing on her head, but you know. Burning calories before consuming them, which includes a whole lot of turkey. Right. Temperature outside, 350. Well, thanks for getting your day started with us here on Mountain News this morning. Coming up, this is Ranger, a very talkative, loving, and energetic German Shepherd who will look like a puppy forever. We'll tell you why just ahead. Hot deals in the stores, cold temperatures outside. I'll help you plan out your Black Friday weather-wise in about three minutes.